Want to hear a scary story? <laughs> I have a daughter named Grace. She's four years old. Good kid. Lots of friends. One night, I hear her talking in her room. So I go in and I see her staring at the wall. And I say, Grace, who are you talking to? And she says, my friend. Okay, now she's never had an imaginary friend before. I mean, it's nice, perfectly normal, right? I'm thinking it's probably a cute little princess or a little animal. I mean, kids have this all the time. And I say, Grace, what's your new friend's name? And she says, James Kelly her. Comes up with a name at the top of her head. So I'm completely creeped out and I decide to tuck her back in, forget about it. The next morning, I'm sitting at my table drinking coffee and she's coloring. I look over and she shows me a picture of this. And I say, that's nice. Who's that? And she says, it's James. So now I'm terrified because she's been drawing this character for weeks. She said she's known him for a long time and he's a priest. So a few weeks later, I go to tuck her in. The room is dark. I turn and I say, good night, don't be scared. She looks me dead in the eye and says, I'm not scared of the dark anymore. James watches over me. He's right there. Eventually, luckily, she grew out of it. So it wasn't a ghost or some past life thing, <laughs> because that's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't be real, right? Night, James.